President Muhammad Buhari has referred to the democratic processes in the country as too slow for his liking. And the Edo State crisis rages on as the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Adams Oshomole's loyalists, have expressed displeasure as Godwin Obaseki, the governor of Edo State, has labelled the ex-governor a pathological liar. Well, this is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anna Cohn. President Mohamed Buhari has stated that his administration's fight against corruption is being slowed down by the democratic processes. This is not the first time this is being heard from the president as he previously decried the democratic checks and balances as unnecessarily cumbersome. In response to this, the chairman of the Northern Elders Forum, Professor Ango Abdullahi, stated that the president is not necessarily fighting corruption because if he was, the prisons would have been filled with many corrupt politicians. And joining us this evening to have this conversation, we have um, Larry Imenike, a political analyst, and Alester Wilcox, political analyst. It's good to have you gentlemen join us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very Thank much. you for having me. So I'm going to start with you, um, Larry. Mr. President is talking about the democratic processes as being too slow, you know. Um, this is for a person who has contested elections over and over, trying to be a part of the democratic process. Of course, I'm sure you would have an idea of how democracy works before you apply to be in the system. A lot of people have said all kinds of things about Mr. President's um, speech about the democratic process, but you as an analyst, where do you stand on this? Uh, I think, uh, thank you very much. Thank you once more for this opportunity. I think uh, the only word I will use is that uh, the president is just being uncharitable, you know, to a process that he's enjoying. You know, democracy has its definitions, clear-cut definitions. I don't think we, we, we manufactured democracy, we lent it and we want to practice it because those that fashion this particular nation knows that the only thing that can give us what we have is a, a, a government whereby, I think, all-inclusive government where everybody, because of the nature of our, you know, our nation, you know, we have people of diverse ethnic groups, you know, there are so many things that are diverse as regards Nigeria. So for you to have a government that everybody will be, you know, a, a part of, it, it, we chose, they chose democracy. And that is a government of the people by the people and for the people. Mm -hmm. And just like you rightly said, if the president uh, who has contested that particular you know, you know, type of governance almost three times before you know, destiny smiled on him and he happens to you know, get the notch, you know, comes out this time after the first tournoi, you know, to talk about you know, his, uh, his, his, his not being really you know, enjoying the process that brought him in, enjoying the process that he's enjoying. You know, talking about slow for his liking. Automatically, that goes to show a reflection of what we are having, you know, through the courts, through some of the actions of government. You know, it goes to portray that thing people we are, that suspicion of people about the president not really knowing what he's practicing, you know, or what he's enjoying, or the process we are running that is called democracy. I think that goes to confirm that suspicion of people, you know, by implication that automatically he himself is not in tandem with the reality of democracy. Now, let's just go uh, take a look at some of the things that the president pointed out. Alester, he said that um, he was unhappy with the slow method of justice. And I'm trying to understand how the executive would want to tell the wheels of justice how it should turn and how fast it should. And, and as a Democrat, Democrat, the president should understand how these things work, or could there be something that the president sees that we're not seeing? Thank you. Uh, for me, really and truly, we must also situate the president speak in the right context. It's always good, and, and like uh, you're always angry with me when I hit on the press, and I always do that. Because sometimes the press overblows a story. Let's stay on the topic. Yes, I'm what staying, I'm, I'm staying you, on the topic. What's your take now, on the Let's president not talk talked, about the press. The president did not condemn democracy. He talked about his uh, frustration 
in the fight for in the fight of corruption. Okay. And he drew analogy in that speech. He has he, this is not the first time he's talking about it. He drew he has always drew an analogy that when he was the minister of state, he put everybody in jail. You go and prove your innocence. But under democracy, we are in a democracy. Yeah, that, no, that is where he drew, that's where he drew the analogy. In I said when he was a head of state, when he was a military head of state, he arrested everybody, and then put them in jail and said, "Go prove your innocence." So they were all they were all anxious to prove their innocence or the or, or I mean or their guilt, so that you start early to fight to I mean to to run your sentence if you are if you are convicted. But in the democracy, you cannot do that. In a democracy, and which he has not done, like Anga Blair is saying, if he was really, really doing what he did before, there are many people that should have been in jail. Now, you can't do that because you cannot arrest somebody and detain him without, for more than, for, um, for a certain number of days, as, until the court grants you, um, uh, 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 the way the court grants you bail, and you perfect your bail plan, you'll be, you'll be out there and you can use. As much as you want. There are so many people who the court have granted bail. Uh, let's not, no, let's turn the topic. You, you say we should turn this topic. But, but no, you, no, hold on, hold on. I'm hold on. sorry, I'm sorry. You said we should well, I asked the questions here. Yes. Just listen. I, I, you just made an analogy about the fact that, yeah. oh, the president is unable to do what he did under the military dispensation, which is throw people in jail. Well, mm -hmm. yes, we understand there is a democratic process. He said so. Hold on. There is a democratic process which yeah. has to be followed. Yeah. And if we're following the content of the democratic process to the later, the president has not followed it because, because you made an analogy now saying that, oh, if you're granted bail yeah. and you fulfill the bail requirements, you should be allowed to go. Yes. But that is not the case. How many, Again, cases, how many cases are we talking about here? Several. That's what I'm saying. You see, that's why I say the press sometimes... You guys use one and one incident or two incidents that you don't under, understand the fundamentals to create an impression. Now, a lot of a lot of corrupt persons have been since the president came to power. A lot of now, listen. We're talking about corruption now. Let's let's tell, like say we start the topic and the justice Good. system. Good. Good. Now let me deal with corruption, and then we can take it if we have the time. Now the president has since the president came to power, a lot of. Corrupt, Niger uh, corrupt persons have been charged before the court. They've all been granted bail. Can I mention their names to you? We don't have all the time. You know them. And how, what happens thereafter? They all come in court in stretcher. They are all sick. They all want to take vacation. They all want to go see their native doctors and their real doctors. And what could pre present the judge not to give them bail? Yeah, of course, they have all enjoyed their bills. So they are all fully in, in, enjoying their bill. Every of the corrupt persons that the court has given bill, they are, they, are, they are several. The president has never told the court not to hold them. But you see, if you are talking about national security, which is a different um, 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 difference of what we are saying now, then we can dissect them one after the other. All right, let's go to what exactly the president, I saw it like you wanted to say something, but before you do that, he said, when I came in uniform, I collected those who were leading, um, took them to Kirikiri, the maximum person, and told them they were guilty until they could prove themselves innocent. Um, but now he's also lamenting that he had learned the hard way that he could not do that in a democracy. I put past, well, he's saying, I put based on almost all the geopolitical committees uh, in zones to investigate them. Those that were found to have lived beyond their means, the balance was taken and they were given to the states. But I myself was arrested, detained, and they were given back what they have stolen. So under this system, which is supposed to be more accountable, it is too slow for my liking. I have to follow it, says the president. Even if the system is slow, we're looking at the intricacies of this system. There are so many people, including the courts, the judiciary, who feel belittled by some of the actions of the executive in a democracy. Now, let's not forget that in a government, especially in a democracy, we have the judiciary, the legislature, and the executive, and they all have powers. But when one, as one aspect of government seems to be more powerful than the rest, and the rest is at the mercy of one arm of government, is that still a democracy? It is not. And I think, uh, you know, if my might uh, help you to answer him, you know, you talked the, whatever we are talking about here, you have it here. He said the democratic process. So he was talking about democracy. So, and I think what I was saying, I, I don't think there's any way the press has, you know, foretold in any way 
you know, but we will not talk about the press tonight. So I, I think uh, we must get it right. The president specifically talked about democratic process. Now to the point we are making, I, I think uh, we need to get the, our facts right. Uh, when you look at the, the presentation of the president, you know, you will discover that uh, there are a lot of contradictions there. He himself was shying away, you know, from the fact that later he was thrown into jail. Without he did mention it. Yes, you know. And go, that goes to show, and if you look at the way he presented it, automatically he wasn't, he didn't find it funny. You know, he felt an injustice has been done. And that was what he did to some certain people. And if we might pick, even pick those people that were affected by that particular, you know, you know dictatorial actions of a, a military regime, like the likes of Ambrose uh, uh, Ali, we discovered after all the hundred billion that he was alleged, hundred million he was alleged to have stolen. That man has no single house in the village. It was the state that built a house that he was buried when he died. So who is fooling who here? And automatically again, if you are making, you are trying to make a reference point with what happened then, how you seized properties of people, and you gave it to the state. What is happening now? Now we have the likes of Timip receiver that there were some certain things about his properties. Immediately you came, back, you came in, you, you surrendered the whole properties back to him. And again, we have a situation we have now presently where some certain characters within the same government has issues, and people are calling for you to be decisive. An injustice to one is an injustice to all. So I'm not looking at when you will have, <laughs> just like he, he, the statement he was making, that uh, how many people, <laughs> that a lot of people have been taken to jail, to, to, to the course and thrown to the jail and they are enjoying bail. That is not the issue. Nobody tries to rationalize <laughs> how many people are in jail. But what we are saying is that if you have a structure, a democracy is a process. It is a, it's, it's a, it's a structure of government that people have been enjoying. We just learnt it. We want to practice it. And there are people that are foundational members, founding fathers of that particular process. And it's there explicitly defined in every status book what democracy means. <laughs> so if you want to practice it, if you are enjoying the process of democracy, and now you are making us to understand that maybe because you want to fight corruption, and there are some certain things we have seen, even in your fight, you know, that particular process you are talking about to fight corruption, we are seeing some certain loopholes, some lacuna you have created that is not even in consonance with let, whatever you are professing. Let, let, let's talk about the people who are saddled with the responsibility of fighting this corruption. Yes. Um, like the issue of the EFCC and the court cases in 2018 that were thrown out, a lot of them because of lack of evidence. We see a lot of... Um, um, you know, trials in the media, you know, names and numbers pasted or plastered on the pages of newspapers. And when these things get to court, they necessarily do not hold water. Could that be the frustration of Mr. President and not necessarily the democracy? Could he well, be talking about that you, you, and not Well, you have already the answered process? the question. And uh, the unfortunate thing is um, when people come to talk about this president, they want to heap the entire problem on Nigeria on, 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 on the president. And they forget the antecedents of where we are coming from. Well, the box stops at the t president's certainly, table. Certainly, certainly, certainly. And if those, something goes wrong, certainly, of course, certainly, people certainly, will point certainly those who have been defending other dictatorials, like those who defended the passenger in all his dictatorial. Look, the what we are enjoying now, the kind of democracy we are enjoying, we don't enjoy it on that on passenger, really? because oh yes, you know it. You have been a journalist, and some people, and I know that really? my brother was one of that was defending that government to to hit Maros because it was a PDP government, and I'm saying it publicly. Because it's not the same, the same president that unitarily removed five governors from office through kangaroo impeachment and all whatnot. It was that dictator, I mean, was that democracy? But you see, this is a man that, that tells you his frustration in fighting, and which you have just mentioned. What's the judiciary? I what, mean, which, I'm, which, I'm wondering, the, wait, the which, processes, hold on, you called it a kangaroo process. Yes. The processes that took out these governors did yes. it not go through a normal judicial process. When people process. spend the, when, when, when you take six people. Did it people, go through a judicial which process, never, yes which, or no? Which never, which did never. Did it go through a judicial process? No, yes. it never it's did. It never it's did. It never did. Asad Dokobo was detained for how many years? In a dungeon. And then, was he granted his right? Look, let me tell you something about so, democracy. I'm trying sorry, to, sorry, I'm, sorry, let me tell you something about I'm democracy. I'm going to ask you this before, question and then no, you go ahead. Before so, I, 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 I lost I'm the sorry, point. I'm sorry. You're trying to say that if some, yeah, yeah. Are you trying to tell us no. that 
it was okay. So what if a passenger did it? It's okay for another person to do the same thing. I have never... Be, no, 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 because I'm trying to understand no, where you're coming from. I'm coming from are the fact say, of hypocrisy. Can I finish asking yeah, the question so you can answer ahead, me? Are ahead. you saying because a, a certain person, as you have said, did something that was dictatorial under democracy, another person has the right to do same because, you know, the other man did it. So where, how does the democratic process in the, in the country grow the, if we keep the doing... The other person is not even doing it. That's what that's, that's I'm going. He's not even doing it. Now, I want to draw an analogy. We talk of democracy. We think, we think democracy is an absolute, absolute license to, be, to, be, to, to, to play madness with national security and other things. That, that is not it. Democracy is following the rules as laid down. And there's somebody and that is the president. when we talk about national security, yes. what exactly are you referring and, uh, I'm to? I'm coming. There's instance. somebody that is the president of the country that has a right to protect it, to return the integrity of the country through every democratic forces. In the First Republic, was somebody not sentenced, not sent to prison for treasonable felony? Was that not a democracy? Did you know about the trial of, of Chief Obafemi Awolowo and his co-defendants? Do you know the history? Are you not in this country? Was it a democracy? Now, if somebody threatens national security... Do we, do we calculate no, our democracy? No, 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 I'm no. sorry, see, do we calculate our democracy up I until then? I am only then? giving you instances. Can you go to Britain, the world's oldest democracy, and threaten the state? Can you go to America, the, the, the biggest democracy in the world, and threaten the state? And you, are, and you are talking of it is democracy? You still, that you have a right you to still have the state? pointed to me these trees naval offenses or this national security that we're talking about. No, no, I'm, I, I'm, look, we are not going to name calling, okay? I'm giving you facts. But we're talking about facts. Yes, I'm giving you facts. I'm giving you, I'm giving you facts. I'm giving you facts. I'm giving you facts. I'm giving you facts. The names. You can deny the facts. You can be, you can be hypocritical about it, but I'm telling you facts. In this country, a big opposition leader has been jailed for threat on national security. In this same country, people have been set free that have stand trial, they've set, been set free. In this administration, people who were, who, people who were accused of uh, uh, fraud and embezzlement of their national treasury have ha enjoyed bail. Olisa Metu enjoys bail today. Uh, the current governor of, uh, what, I just want to, current governor of Bauchi State is enjoying bail before he become, now he has immunity. So these are, Akbabi is enjoying bail. Uh, Ojo Sazdo enjoyed bail for 12 years before he was finally convicted. So there are pockets and many of them. A lot of them that are in this have enjoyed bail and they're having their bail. Now, if you have people who in the, in the reading of the government has issues of national security against them, of course, national security takes precedence. If you're you talking about Shawarez's case. So you're saying if that... You're about, let's so, come, if you're talking sorry, about case, question, which so one are you talking about? So you're saying that you're also towing the line of Mr. President that um, the rule of law comes second after national security. No, no. National security take precedence. You yes. can't go and, you and, can't go and the put the country at fire. The, and where does the rule of law come in? You in will be taking... You will, you, will be, you, you will be taking that before the That means you're taking the law into your hands, No, no. If you're inside the people... If you're pushing past national... If you're pushing past the rule of law... Yes. and you're saying that national security is number one, where are the rules that guide you in making sure that you secure who, the people? Who within, is, at, who is the responsible to protect the country? Who? They have a rule of law no, who is that guides to the everybody. Okay. Are you Can saying... You? you haven't answered my question. Okay. Are you saying... Are you insinuating that it is okay to break the, the law of a country because you're trying to protect the but people in the country? Break the law by who? I just asked the question. You can't I, break the law. But you just said national security is paramount. Uh, yeah, national security is paramount. Over the rule will of you, law? Will, will you want to, okay. Over the rule There's of law. There's a law that says you could not kill. No, no, let me finish. A law says you cannot uh -huh. kill. A law says you cannot kill, right? Can you uh -huh. wait for an armed robber to point a gun at you and uh, you have uh, something to uh, kill I him? Think, I think... Which, is secure, think which, comes, mean, which I, comes first? I think okay. we are missing it up. No, we're not missing it up. I, I, I want to like, I would like us to go, you know, if one wants to make us play his game to deviate from the reality of our discourse i think it, it, the need you know we won't need to bring us back well, we are talking about democratic process that was when the president used that particular word so talking about all this issue of national security that uh, lester you know is bringing up here is neither here nor there I want us to go to that well, particular he, he, context. I guess he's trying to defend the president's yeah, speech. No, 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 no. We are defending the president's speech. In which context? You know, he used the, the president's speech. 
You see, he used the word contest. And I want us to go back to that contest. Interesting. The contest was fight against corruption. What has it got to do with the national security he's talking about? So I think we must be, real, we must be realistic here. It, it's not playing to the gallery. I see all these things, you know, I don't want to use the word that maybe a written speech, you know, so certain people have made so, a lot of suggestions about what we are seeing, a prepared speech, you know, somebody trying to play with the speech. If you believe in something, he talked about the, 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 the democratic, the electoral process, you know, is there. You know, among those things he talked about. But we were all alive during the 2019 election. A lot of promises were made. And later, we, what we saw, he even went as far as which so many of us criticized then of saying that anybody that was caught engaging in ballot snatching, you know, risked death by, you know, they said shoot aside. That was the word, you know, he used then. And later, during the 2019 election, what did we see? We saw a lot of ballot box snatching across, but nothing happened. In this last election here, the same pronouncement and promises were made by the president. And what happened? We heard of the woman there in, in, in Kogi State that was murdered. And she was murdered by people that almost everybody knows. Until today, nothing has happened. So I don't even want to go. Is it, when we is talk it, about contest. You see, sometimes. See, I'm I always, I, I always sometimes, want to sometimes have I, so, a serious Sometimes I get, I, just, I get very, very worried with hypocrisy. Yeah. I just, I just, okay, mm. gentlemen, let's be um, very civil yes. in our conversation. I want to go back to, give us a background. I'm not saying you don't know the president, but let's give our viewers a little background of Mr. President's history. We know that the president, when he was in the military, took part in a military coup overthrew a democratically elected president, uh, you know, in 1983, you know, he remained in office. We know all of that. And when the president came in 2015, he went into multiple alliances with other political structures outside his core, you know, he made promises, just as we have said. He won the election on the back of a campaign that promised a liberal democratic governance to all Nigerians. He described himself as a Democrat and promised to eschew all forms of authoritarianism. He said it was for everyone and for nobody. Well, a lot of Nigerians, if we were to take a poll right now, unfortunately, would disagree. And we know that this happens anywhere in the world. There are people who are for and there are people who are against. But if there is an outcry of sorts, that there is a stifling of other arms of government, which, again, this is not my opinion, I'm saying if there is, and then the president comes out in the midst of all of these allegations and says the democratic process is too slow and it's frustrating for him. As an average Nigerian, what would you think? Look, um, <laughs> sometimes when I come on stage with certain persons, I, I find it's not about the gentleman. No, no, no. We're, no, we're no. talking. When I come on stage with certain persons that I cannot remove uh, the Tonga uh, of election defeat in two, from Alesta, 2015. Alesta, I'm sorry, you're being very personal. I'm not personal. I'm, I'm sorry. Not personal. I asked I'm not you a personal. simple question. I'm not Can personal. you answer the question? No, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm just in the. I'm it's not the about question. your get, the guest in the it's, studio. No, no, no. Make it's, uh, your it, point. It, it, it's about it's about our views. No, you're being very personal about no, no, no. whatever party okay, supports. Okay, okay, okay. Whatever we're that has happened. At, we're now, looking at the situation. I am talking about the. Okay, if I talk about the president, if I talk about the president. The president has made has not left any any sound mind in doubt as to his democratic credentials. The president has not does not have political uh, a prisoner. If you're talking about democracy, the president has not interfered in national assembly, even when he had one of the worst uh, uh, uncompromised national assembly. They run their full course. The president has not interfered in the judiciary and give instructions to who to jail or who not to jail. The president has allowed every arm of government to run. The president is fighting corruption in every arm, judicial, the, um, legislature, everywhere. That is his responsibility. If you are caught for corruption, Saraki was head of the judicial of the executive of, a, of the of the legislature. legislature. Yeah. He was accused of, of impropriety. Saraki went through the court processes. He was scared free. Did the president force the court to find him guilty? Um, uh, 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 Onoge was the head of the judiciary. Onoge was accused of impropriety. He went through the court processes and was found guilty. Did the president order the court to find him guilty? There are thousands of persons that have gone through the court processes. 
Some of them have been acquitted. Some have been sent to jail. Some are on bail. Okay, we need to round so up now. So where has this where has this president let reached me, me democratic credentials? One sentence. We need to go okay. now. One Nobody. Sentence, please. Nowhere. It's okay. One sentence. Uh, we need to go. Uh, uh, a lot. A lot. I don't even want to go there because when you talk about one uh, sentence, I don't know what <laughs> sentence you are talking about. But then I have to you know, say something. You know, I I I don't like trying to pick a point from what somebody said, but. Uh, 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 it's necessary when we talk about nationhood as a people, let us always be objective. Okay. All this idea of hypocrisy and so many other things cannot help Nigeria grow. All right, we are well, building a democracy and I hope that all of us has to stand up to the reality of what democracy really means. Well, it's been a very heated conversation. Larry Amenike, Alastair Wilcox, both political analysts. They're not going anywhere. We're going to have more of them after the break because when we come back, we'll be going into a dose state to find out what's happening there. Stay with us.